The KBPF adjustable frequency drives from KB Electronics provide variable speed control for standard three-phase and permanent split capacitor AC induction motors. Due to its user-friendly design, the KBVF AC drive is easy to install and operate. The drive is factory set for 208-230 volt AC line input. To change this to 115 volt AC line input, install jumper J1 into the 115 volt position. Jumpers J1 and J2 are used to set the motor operation and drive output frequency. Both of these jumpers must be set for the appropriate motor nameplate frequency rating in order to operate correctly. By default, J1 is set to the 1x position and J6 is set to the 60 hertz position. The drive is factory set for automatic start using the jumper installed onto CON1 located on the lower PC board. The drive will automatically start when power is applied and a run command is given. The drive will automatically restart after a recovered fault due to undervoltage, overvoltage, or short circuit. For a manual start, a momentary contact must be installed onto CON1. The drive is factory set for forward speed operation, jumper installed in the F position of CON2. CON2 is located on the lower PC board. For reverse speed operation, install the jumper in the R position. With the jumpers configured, we will now move on to the trim pot settings. The trim pots are factory set to be compatible with most common applications, but you may need to adjust them depending on the requirements of your application. This drive features two diagnostic LEDs to display the current operational status. Once your jumpers and trim pots have been set to the desired positions and you've completed your wiring, you can now begin the startup procedure. If the AC power has been properly brought to the drive, the power LED will be illuminated green and the status LED will indicate drive status. If the drive is configured to automatically start, which is the factory setting, then it will automatically begin running once power is applied and a run command is given. This also means that it will automatically restart after a recovered fault due to an undervoltage, overvoltage, or short circuit. If you would prefer to use a manual start, then you must install a momentary contact onto CON1. If your motor is operating according to your settings, then your KBVF should now be ready for full operation. For more on the KBVF series and more from KB Electronics, check out galco.com.